Hello, and welcome to another video. This video um, will be hitting, I think, 2.1k MMR um, as you're recording this. Uh, this is like a week old or more. Sorry about that. I've been busy with work. Um, at this point, I have hit uh, 2164 on this character. Um, I haven't played since I did that, but it was like a day or two ago. Um, starting to get a hang of things a little bit more. The overlap with my um, big debuffs and the actual third plate debuffs there um, is happening right there. I actually end up fixing it, I think, in the next video. If not, uh, sorry about that. I do understand um, what it is, how it's happening, and stuff like that. In this situation, I had completely disabled uh, Gladius. Uh, since then, I have gotten Gladius X to like actually work, and I edited it, or edited it the way that I wanted it to be. Um, I also said I was going to give my uh, UI to somebody, so apologies. Um, I think I am in a good enough state at this point that I, I can probably definitely share that if somebody actually wants that. Um, I'll actually try to remember here that I should pay spin that. It's um, relatively simple. All I've got is it looking like Star Wars, like, you know, how you've got the class icon above the thing. I don't understand the class colors. I really understand class symbols too much. The symbols, thankfully, they do actually help me a lot more. And the reason why I have symbols on is because I'm just so used to it, but also at the same time, I'm still new, too new to probably really understand the uh, class colors that much. But I'm getting a hang of it, the class colors and the symbols are definitely helping me uh, figure out what class they are on the go. But there are so many specs in this game and there's so many competitive specs in this game, actually, that uh, it's just a lot to take in. This is probably the most Zuggy match you'll see from me for a while. I think um, what actually happens in round two is hilarious. It's just raw damage and <laughs> it's it's probably something you probably just don't see very often. I could be wrong, but I thought it was pretty funny and, you know, it's whatever. Um, in this first round, I am not doing as much damage and I probably could have gotten away with taking some AoE here, but... It doesn't really matter. The whole idea was just to train Boomy so he doesn't get Cyclones off and basically make it impossible to play. Thankfully, the uh, Boomy player doesn't seem to be too bad compared to most of the Boomies that I've seen. And the second round goes really, really fast. Uh, it's just hilarious. There has been a uh, guess meta shift for Fury. Um, I believe the built. Excuse me. This build that I'm currently using is still pretty good, but uh, we've kind of like shifted into using uh, Ravager, and I think part of the reason is that so you kind of can, if you have good uptime, maintain that strength bonus. Um, so you're like hitting like twenty six thousand, I think, strength or something like that. Uh, it's it's pretty nasty and it's pretty strong. Ravager itself can do a uh, respectable amount of damage. I think the highest tick I've ever hit with it was like a 70,000. So it's it's nothing to scoff at. Um, and this guy just dies immediately. We go into round three here. Uh, part of the reason why I did so much damage in that, that round is obviously Thunderous Roar. Thunderous Roar is probably a massive percent. Or I thought it would be bigger, but I guess not. Um, so Rampage and... And execute. We end up doing a ton of damage there, getting a kill through some of their defensives. At the same time, they were going the Paladin. So we were in a situation of both um, the enemy DPS getting like absolutely nuked. I didn't think Pal our Paladin was a great at target, but also at the same time, I didn't think it was probably worth it just tunnel one person there. So uh, if we conveniently, without comms, uh, kind of coordinated that pretty well. Uh, I don't think normally that'll happen. I know a lot of people in this game seem to tunnel one target and just like one target only. I know that probably some of the like a lot better players probably don't do that because it's not a great ideal, but you know, it, it's something, and I haven't learned defenses uh, that well. Um, I believe like this one right here is like bark skin that this guy has. I probably shouldn't be hitting him. Um, I am well aware of that now, but I feel like sometimes it's probably better to just maintain pressure, build up my stacks, try to get the moral strike going and stuff like that. Um, another change too is that I've got all the uh, buffs on top of the uh, the players uh, that'll actually be going away soon because uh, I did change my third plates uh, which is pretty nice uh, I might 
turn on some throw plates on just for being able to see like mortal strike and stuff. simple like things like that because it is nice to see like my uh my slow up time and stuff like that and we have already won round three so the whole idea of just training the uh the boomy is actually working which uh to be fair I think everybody's just happy about that. They're like, screw that class, that, the cyclone stuff, it's ridiculous. Um, I realized that uh, Demon Hunter has something like that, but it's not spammable. And when I started using that, I was just like, holy, that, that is like actually just so strong. And I didn't really understand why WoW has decided that instead of making a more like fleshed out system um, of like having tanks involved to like help the uh, metagame, I guess, a little bit more. Um, they've decided to just make CC really strong and defense is really strong, so the whole tunnel one target uh, strategy isn't as useful. I do like the def, I do like the utility, I think it's incredible, but at the same time, I do feel like they could definitely do something more of tanks uh, than just, you know, having them pretty good in the objective game gameplay, because essentially all they're doing is being a bunker class to stall and hold a node. It'd be cool to see them have more of a role in Arena. I know that they can be played, it's just they're not that common. And I think that would definitely help pull away from the crazy CC meta that they're... Kind of already in, but I guess um, the current meta right now is probably more damage than CC. Um, compared to like previous expansions and whatnot. Which is definitely good for me because I don't... I really don't want to sit there and channel fear over and over or anything like that. Even though the idea of playing um, Shadow Priest sounds absolutely amazing. It looks like a really fun uh, class for spec. But then like out of all the healers that I wanted to play is Discipline. Oddly enough, I am not much of a healer. I don't like healing too much, uh, but Discipline just, I don't know, it speaks to me. It looks really cool. I am going to level one in the uh, Pandemonium remix, so we'll get around to that. We might just play Shadow Priest instead, but I'll definitely uh, be playing the Pandemonium thing for a while. And this guy kind of pretty much just executed. I believe our monk kind of like finished off the CC for, for us in that situation, so that's pretty good. He had a clone and then Monk went over there and used Paralyze or Dropkick or whatever it is. Low Kick, I think. So this match is uh, pretty simple for me. Just do damage and uh, everybody else is doing the CC, which uh, just, you know, it simplifies the game to the point that even as somebody that doesn't really understand what's going on, is able to play and uh, I'm able to recognize their plays and kind of try to capitalize on that. Which is pretty nice, I must say, because usually I feel like people aren't really using their CC, which, you know, I I'm guilty of too. Um, I shouldn't, shouldn't say I'm not. Um, I don't know. It's a, it's a different kind of like gameplay that I, I thoroughly enjoy, but also at the same time I do think CC is very important. Especially with uh, Demon Hunter, I, I've learned that you know Demon Hunter is like extremely simple. It's got a lot of CC, but also at the same time, it's uh, it's a little bit more straightforward. I don't have to be like physically on top of the person. And even if I do need to be, you know, it's got better uh, mobility than Fury. Even though Fury is warrior, Fury warrior uh, mobility is actually really, really, really good. Normally, I feel pretty bad about letting a, a Red Warrior, not Red Warrior, a Red Paladin just kind of like doing whatever he wants because I know they do a crazy amount of damage. I've played them, they're very fun. But they don't, um, at least they don't have access to Moral Strike, so I feel like they're just not as threatening. And if we turn to Boomy, Boomy's not going to be able to really get setups for the Red, which you know, is pretty much the plan. Um, I said once, and the other guy's just pretty much on the same page. And uh, I feel like 
Death Knight is a great target for Fury Warrior, so I pretty much don't even change up my strategy. I just want to tunnel him or the Boomy, and this this match is like pretty much solved from what was it match two or round two or whatever. Um, ends up being a very just one dimensional gameplay. It's not like any thought was put into it other than you know just doing damage. Um, coming up next uh, next game that I upload, I'm not entirely sure which one it will be just yet, but my UI should be fixed or a little bit better. If you guys have any suggestions or anything like that, I'll be happy to take them because I am still trying to earn, still trying to figure out these things, and I don't really want to get too comfortable with like my UI or anything without having like important things on it because I don't want to uh, make bad habits, but also at the same time, you know, there's a decent amount of visual clarity and decent amount of things that are available for me to kind of understand what's going on, even if there's no add-ons. Uh, which also brings another another question um, for WoW. Um, I know probably a lot of you, you know, don't really mind. It's a design choice. Like, I understand that add-ons exist and macros exist, but I still think, like, if they, they didn't, and game design just advanced to make it to the point that you don't need it, this game would probably be a lot better. Anyway, hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. I'll catch you guys again later.